Okay, C. Lindelof videos, converting rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates with your TI Inspire cast. I'm going to make this video super quick because it's just this easy, but you have to do it correctly. So let's actually work through this real quick. Uh, the way it looks is this. I'm just going to go to my calculator. I'm going to insert calculator. And then from here, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to take a rectangular. I'm going to take a rectangular point. I'm going to take a rectangular coordinate. But what's important that I do here is this. Control and then choose this set. Whoa, that's not right, buddy. Hit Control and can this set of brackets, right? And the point I have is the point negative 1, 1, right? <clears throat> and I want this transferred into a polar coordinate. So all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to this little catalog right here. I'm going to choose polar, right? And then I'm going to hit Enter. And there's your point. So this is super, super quick. This is not my explanation of how to do this. I actually did this on another video when I, and I think it worked out well. It's not very, very difficult to do at all. Um, however, I just thought I'd show you a couple examples. Let me show you one more example just so you can practice this. Remember, you need this data set. So you need control here and then this specific set of brackets. And then you need to put in what your point is, your rectangular point, right? And my rectangular point in this case is the point zero comma to the point zero two, right? I'm gonna pop out of there. I'm going to go to this look. If for some reason you weren't here, like you end up somewhere else in this thing, if you hit P, P button, and then you can scroll down and find polar. I just wasted a bunch of time. Right? And hit polar, right? That's the way to do it. And then just right, hit enter. And there's that point. So uh, also, you got to be a little bit careful with this because remember, when you have polar points, you have these repeating angle, not these repeating angles, but these coterminal angles. So this is a solution, not the solution, right? Because if I went 2 pi from wherever I start on a polar graph, I'm back at the same place that I was. So something to think about. Hope the video is helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And you know your comments are always welcome. Appreciate you guys.